today I thought I'd stop at the Squam Squamish River. It's a very well-known place in Brackendale that anyone can visit. It's our very favorite spot to check out the eagles. And in the fall and winter time. So I find it very interesting that I've been working through a lot of my own energies. It's been a very intense alignment of energies in the cosmos and not surprisingly, well, I was surprised at first that the Squamish River is very, very murky. So it just uh, made me reflect inwards and uh, thinking about my own murky waters and what I need to clear in my own field. I'm sure many people can relate to that on some level right now. We are clearing some energies that are no longer serving. And sometimes we go into very dark places doing that. I can attest to that. I will be the first to admit through a video, video taking off my mask for a moment, that um, I do struggle sometimes with depression and anxiety. But after the effects, uh, after I've moved through some things, which I'm still in the process of doing, I'm going to be very, very honest. Obviously, I'm attracted to murky waters. <laughs> so this is my uh, realization to keep going, that the rivers never stop. So why should I? <laughs> so I just wanted to share this beautiful, beautiful scenery in this moment in time. And um, I share a raw and real Trina moment. Trina stopping at the river. I'm going to turn it off and just enjoy my time here. And I hope wherever you are, you're enjoying or embracing and allowing wherever you are. Sometimes that's the hardest thing to do at times. So kudos to you for still being here on this planet. This plant needs you. Don't ever forget that. Some people had, and some people have left because of that, and I hope that is not you. So, Moon Eye Blessings, and I am also uh, allowing energy to move through me as I offer that through through me to you with unconditional love and blessings. Thank you.